let's keep it moving on. Let's talk about some of the contenders or pretenders, Daniel. I feel like there's a lot of contenders and pretenders going yeah. on right now uh, in the National Football League. And I'll start it off with my uh, pretender. Um, I think my pretender is the Pittsburgh Steelers. Mm. I think the Pittsburgh Steelers are a very competitive team, but I do not believe that their championship uh, – I don't believe they're a championship team. I don't believe that this is a team that I could see winning a championship. I think this is a team that I could see being competitive, making the playoffs, obviously, uh, maybe winning a game and then being out, right? But I, I don't take them as a serious, serious uh, threat. And I think it's just you feel like while Russell Wilson is running the offense exactly how they need it to be ran, you just feel like this Patriots – I mean, the Steelers team is still lacking something offensively, personally. That's what I think. Um, obviously they had the jump ball play with Mike Williams wins them the game. Great play. Awesome play. Mm -hmm. But how many times, uh, how many times are, you know, is that, is that play obviously being made? That's not, that's not a, that's not a high percentage play that I would root in success, especially if you need to move the ball down the field offensively, especially if teams start to catch on. Right. That was a big play. I think even a lot of people were shocked to see that from Mike Williams, especially coming off the ACL injury. No one expected that to be something that we saw. I think that uh Pittsburgh defense is, Always is what it always has been, but I, I just I'm not believing in the Pittsburgh Steelers, Daniel. I want to go tit for tat with you here. Who, yeah, who's your contender or pretender? Yeah, well, I also I agree with you there. Mm -hmm. Like I think that their team they look good and they're gonna look good in the regular season. But like we talked about yesterday, I just don't. I struggle to see them winning three games in a row because they're not gonna likely won't get the one seed. They'll like likely be the Chiefs, and I just struggle to see them winning three games against Josh Allen, Mahomes, Burrow. Like, I just I see that too hard. But if I want to go to one pretender, I think the Minnesota Vikings are pretenders. I think that they're a team where hopefully people see them as pretenders. I just can't buy into the Sam Darnold, man. And I think that that's going to be kind of a huge trend that we discuss here is really about, you know, these quarterbacks. And I think that their team where they look good, seven and two defense has been on fire. You know, Brian Flores has been great. I can't buy into it, Malik. I can't. There's been multiple games, and you look at this past game, Malik. Like you said, uh, the Jaguars, Mac Jones, he had his moments. Malik, Sam Donald threw three interceptions, man, and they only put up 12 points. Mm -hmm. They're a team where they had multiple opportunities in the red zone to go out there and do it, and they just couldn't do it. And there's been multiple games like this, right? You go look at the game um, against the Lions, right? It was a very close game. They were easily, they were up by two scores in the first half and they went out there they lost that game then you go look at the, the rams game i believe that game was monday a sunday night or a monday night that was a primetime game against the rams and they went out there they lost it was a close game and there were obviously some you know there was the safety call but they got in my opinion the rams controlled that entire game matthew stafford looked like a much better quarterback i'm just very concerned with uh sam Darnold. i don't think that he's gonna be the guy to do it in the playoffs and like I said, I saw this past weekend what the recipe for failure is. And that's, hey, looking at them forcing the ball into Justin Jefferson's hands, it's not going to work. So I like what they have. I think they're good. Um, but like Sean Brennan saying exactly, I think there's four to five teams that are much, much, much better than them in the NFC. And I think, hell, even look at a team like the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I don't think they're in the playoff picture right now. I think they're right outside, if not in the wild card. I would put the Buccaneers over the Vikings. So hands down, they are pretenders, in my opinion. I agree, man. Um, listen, for me, it's one of those things where, um, you know, I I, 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 I kind of teeter a little bit. I kind of teeter a little bit. Let, let me let me go to one, another one of my uh, contenders that I think people are kind of like throwing under the radar a little bit yeah uh, the ravens mm. i think the ravens um are different this year and i know that the past says the ravens haven't had success um in the playoffs as much as you like much as we'd like to see but mm. i feel i really feel like this team is different my honest opinion like say if it weren't like obviously a team like the Bengals who has who have met the the chiefs and beaten the chiefs in the playoffs before yeah i definitely could see the ravens finally breaking through this year Mm. I really could, man. I think the one thing that's going to hold them back is that passing defense. I really believe it's going to be a passing defense. But here's the thing. Their offense is so unstoppable. Can you keep up? Mm -hmm. Can you keep up? And that brings us to my next question, okay? Well, in the playoffs, if it ain't the um, 
if it ain't the uh if, if it ain't like the uh you know if it ain't like the uh, Chiefs for instance who else is keeping up with them offensively yeah the Texans maybe maybe I haven't seen enough yet from the Texans to feel confident in saying that you know they they play these big time games and you know sometimes they just find a way to kind of squander they they had that game one against the Lions the other day it was their game mm-hmm. I don't know I feel like this. I feel like I feel like Lamar Jackson is truly having, and it's crazy to say for a guy that's won two MVPs. Yeah, I think Lamar Jackson is having his best. Uh, I feel like Lamar Jackson is having his best uh, season that I've seen from him yet. But another uh, pretender, I think I'm going with is the Eagles. Really? Yeah. I, I, mm-hmm. I don't know. I I'm just not. I'm not. I'm not overly like impressed with the Philadelphia Eagles, man. Yeah. They rattled off a couple wins here, and it, they've been impressive. They beat the Bengals. They beat the Jacksonville Jaguars, and two of those games were dog fights. Mm-hmm. Mm, I'm not buying into it too much, though. I think they're all. I think it's one of those situations where those are all going to be competitive teams. I mean, teams that are going to be, you know, going to push you to the brink. But at the end of the day, the X factor is the quarterback position. Can their quarterback reach a new height, a new level, on, in order to get where they need to go? That's the real question, Daniel. What about you? Yeah. Who's a contender? Who's a pretender? No, for sure. And I think that's where I want to keep the conversation, the Eagles. And um, I think that the entire NFC, I'm with you, Malik. I think that the Lions could be you know, pretenders. I think the NFC is really a crapshoot. Mm-hmm. And the reason why I say that is I look at this week, there's a huge game. It is actually Thursday Night Football. Um it's the Commanders versus Eagles. And this game's going to tell me a lot, but there's two teams I'm really buying into this year when it comes to NFC. And so I'll give two contenders. I think it's the Commanders and I think it's the 49ers. I think these are the two teams that I look, hey, what are the teams I can realistically see beating the Lions? Of course, I could see the Eagles beating the Lions, sure. Um, but I think this Commanders team, like I said, they lost a close game to the Steelers, but they're a team where... This next stretch is really going to define them. And if they can continue to perform like they've been performing, um, they're going to be a very, very, very tough team to beat in the playoffs. Like I said, I think their offense is firing on all cylinders. But it's going to be seen, hey, is Jaden Daniels, is this offense going to hit that rookie wall? Are they going to hit that slump? And that's where um, this next stretch is going to tell me a lot about the commanders. So I'm going to say that they're contenders for Mm -hmm. now. Um, but it also wouldn't shock me. Hey, we're going to know a lot very quickly, but the 49ers for sure. Um, they played a close game against the Buccaneers. We saw what happened. Debo Samuel got in a little argument with his kicker. Um, Christian McCaffrey is an X factor Mm -hmm. and they're a team that is five and four. They're a team that people aren't talking about, but I would argue that when healthy, obviously Ayuk is not there right now. But McCaffrey adds such a different dimension to this offense. You go and look at the game. I saw some people say, oh, he's washed. He's not cutting like he used to. Okay, maybe he wasn't in the run game. But I'm pretty sure we all saw the same game. The dude had five receptions, and there were multiple. One was a wheel route. The linebacker didn't know what the hell he was doing. Mm -hmm. The other was an option route. And it just shows, hey, there is a different level of route running when it comes to McCaffrey versus these other dudes at the Mm -hmm. running back position. And I think he's an X factor, and I really like, hey, Brock Purdy looked like a different quarterback when McCaffrey was there. So Mm -hmm. um, I think that there is still a team that no one's really talking about. But Malik, we are only 10 weeks in the season. They're 5-4. and I'm so confident that that they head into the playoffs. And if we see a matchup with them and the Lions – we're going to be having the same conversation like, damn, how did we favor this Lions team over the 49ers? Because like uh, one of our comments said, they've got so much playoff experience. They've got Kyle Shanahan. Brock Purdy's been to two NFC championships. And I'm just super confident this team, um, they've just got the baseline of a very damn good football team. Their defensive line is still there. They still got Fred Warner. Um, and right now they're the eighth seed. So nobody's talking about them, but I 1000% believe they're contenders.